Welcome back to my channel. I'm Neha Parasha, working in a healthcare company and based in Germany. In the last video, we saw what the orphan drugs are, what are the criteria for their classification, and what is the worldwide status of laws or regulations related to orphan drugs. In today's video, we will see what is orphan drug designation. Do you remember from last video that there are some criteria for orphan drugs? What are those criteria? One is the prevalence of that disease, meaning the number of people affected by that disease. Other is lack of financial viability, meaning the development and manufacturing cost for a drug is too high for that disease that it's difficult for pharmaceutical companies to recover that money from the sales of that drug. Yeah? And the other criteria is that the disease should be serious or life-threatening. No satisfactory treatment available for that disease and if satisfactory treatment is available, then your drug provides significant benefit as compared to the previous treatments. Okay? If your drug meets these kind of criteria, which is defined differently in different countries, then the applicant need to submit the orphan drug designation to health authority for requesting that your drug can be designated as orphan drug. Health authority will then review this application and based on their review, they will evaluate if your product meets all the criteria and if they will provide the orphan drug designation to your product. In US, this is called as orphan drug designation, while in EU, this is called as orphan medicinal product designation. So ODD in US and OMPD in EU. So there is a difference in terminology. Okay, The application for ODD is different from your NDA, BLA or MA application. So you should not get confused between your ODD application or your marketing authorization application. Okay, ODD application can be submitted anytime during drug development after the non-clinical studies throughout the clinical studies or even at the time of your MA submission. That means it can be submitted at any time before NDA. A, B, L, A, M, A submission even prior to IND or CTA filing. However, in real world, companies want to submit it as soon as possible in their development cycle. And the reason for that is that if you are granted with the orphan drug designation, it accelerates your entire drug development process. Because do you remember from previous video, I mentioned that we receive several incentive or benefits for this orphan drug development, right? So earlier you get this designation from health authority, faster your drug development cycle becomes. On the other hand, NDA, BLA or MA applications are only submitted when we have completed our clinical studies and we want to receive the marketing authorization or approval for our drug, right? That's why getting the orphan drug designation and orphan drug approval is not the same thing. Getting the orphan drug designation is just one part or one step before getting the orphan drug approval or a marketing authorization approval, yeah? Do you know there is very interesting fact about our ODD application that maybe we submitted our ODD application today but we want to submit our MA application two years later. What happens? It can be the case that in those two years you lose the orphan drug designation. Really? Yes, that is possible because maybe that disease is no more a rare disease as the prevalence of that disease has changed meanwhile in those two years or maybe someone else has developed a drug for that disease before you, right? So the orphan drug designation criteria are no more valid, right? So for now, you know that ODD application is different from MA application, right? Different countries have different ODD application criteria and different format for this ODD application. In our next upcoming video, we will see what are the procedure and steps for this ODD application in different, different countries, right? But before we end this video, do you know what is market exclusive? provided for orphan drugs in US and EU? If you know the answer, then let me know in the comment section. If you don't know, then don't worry. We will discuss this in our next upcoming videos. Till then, let's stay tuned.